Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 9, verse 37 through 42. And here's what it, the incident says. Now it happened on the next day when they had come down from the mountain that a great multitude met him. Suddenly a man from the multitude cried out saying, Teacher, I implore you, look on my son, for he is my only child. And behold, a spirit seizes him and he suddenly cries out. It convulses him so that he foams at the mouth and it departs from him with great difficulty, bruising him. So I implored your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. And as he was still coming, the demon threw him down and convulsed him. Then Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the child, and gave him back to his father. There's a lot of here to focus on, isn't there? Uh, Jesus comes down from the mountain. He's got somebody there that uh, waiting. The disciples that were left below, because Peter, James, and John went up with Jesus. The others had stayed there, and they were unable to help. I implored your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. There's a rebuke in there for his disciples, and maybe there's kind of a rebuke in there for you and I. Sometimes there's people that need help, and we are seem like we're unable to help them. Uh, the disciples couldn't do it, and you know, that's sort of a sticky spot then. Well, if the disciples can't do it, what about Jesus? Could Jesus even do it? But of course he can, and he does. Oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? Yeah, not so much longer. Jesus is beginning this great long walk, which we see in the last part of the Gospel of Luke, the walk back to Jerusalem where he will be crucified. But Jesus is quite successful in, th in throwing him out. He rebukes the unclean spirit and heals the child. Now, that's interesting. Demon possession and healing, those things are kind of like separate areas, aren't they? And yet they're put here, although they're, they're put here as though they're the same thing or is there, they're at least parallel. He healed, he rebuked the unclean spirit, he healed the child, and then that beautiful last touch, he gives the child back to his father. Many times, this isn't the only time in the Bible, there's other time when Jesus takes someone who's deceased, raises them from the dead, gives them back to the parent. And so here we have it. Jesus certainly uh, showed here the power of his father's power, his divine strength. May the Lord help us to be so closely attuned to what he's doing that we, we will be able to meet the need as uh, people truly are ready to believe, ready to receive help from God. May we be their helpers. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for hearing our prayers. Help us to be so closely attuned to you that we are able to do your will, successfully minister to others who are in need. We represent your kingdom. Lord, help us to come up higher, higher, on a higher ground so that you can use us for your good. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, may the Lord bless you and use you.